Kukai's theory. Toward the end of the 8th century, the Japanese sage Kukai, or Kobodashi, went to China to study the doctrine of Yogacara school under Hui Kyo, or Kai Kwa, and after being initiated into the most secret mysteries of the system, carried it to Japan and founded the Shingon sect. The fundamental principle of the yoga is the ecstatic union of the individual with the universal spirit, and in Japan, Virochana is looked upon as the highest vehicle of the mystic union, which is called by the Japanese, quote, the action of the Dainichi Niorai. The mudra of Virochana indicates the mystic union. As a Dhyani Buddha, he has the Dharma Chakra Mudra, or the union of wisdom with matter. As the Adi Buddha, he has the Mudra of the Six Elements, which, when united, produces the sixfold bodily and mental happiness. The five fingers of the right hand represent five material elements of which man is composed. Earth, little finger. Water, ring finger. Fire, middle finger. Air, index finger. And ether, thumb. The index finger of the left hand represents the flame symbol of the Adi Buddha. For the sixth element, the mind, or manas, is a particle of his essence. The two hands thus represent the union of the spiritual with the material, and correspond with the Vajradhatu and Garbhadhatu, or the mandala, in two parts. Kukai asserted that the Mahavarochana is reality, with a capital R, and reveals himself in all objects of sense and thought. All phenomena point to the underlying reality, Mahavarochana Dainichi, which means great sun. The sun is the source of light and warmth, the source of life. Similarly, Mahavarochana is the great luminous one, at the center of a multitude of Buddhas, Bodhisattvas, and other powerful beings. To attain enlightenment means to realize Mahavirachana, since Mahavirachana is originally within man. Mahavirachana can be interpreted from various angles. The Mahavirachana of the Vajrasakara Sutra is the body of wisdom, symbolized by the Vajra, diamond, thunderbolt, or adamantine weapon. The Vajra stands for the power of illumination, for penetrating insight that breaks through the darkness of ignorance. In the Mahavirachana Sutra, on the other hand, Mahavirachana appears as the body of principle and is represented by a lotus, which stands for principle yet unrealized, compassion, potentiality, growth, and creativity. Hence, the body of principle is represented by the matrix, or womb-world, mandala. Kukai's two propositions are that Mahavirachana consists of the six great elements interfused, and that Mahavirachana is in a state of eternal harmony. The six great elements are earth, water, fire, wind, space, and consciousness. The first five stand for all material elements, and the last for the spiritual element. These six great elements create all Buddhas, all sentient beings, and all material worlds. Mahavirachana consists of six great elements, is without a second, and is the totality of all existence and movements in the universe. Thus, all diverse phenomena are identical as to their constituents. All are in a state of constant transformation. No absolute difference exists between man and nature. 